thought and then my connection on my end seemed like it was being slow. Okay, so I ha have a random haul from Hobby Lobby, Michaels, not Michaels, sorry, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, and Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree I'll do last because there's really nothing super special. Okay, uh, but the Walmart haul is really cool because we got something really awesome. And I know a lot of you are probably going, okay, big deal. I've had mine for years, but for me to finally get to experience this kind of stuff, it's awesome. So, anyway, let me go ahead and start off with the uh, Walmart haul. Um, I had been trying to get Carrie to let me and him get a Keurig for years and he didn't want to do it. He's old school. He likes the, um, what do you call it? The, uh, the, the coffee pot. I cannot get my brain together. Oh my gosh. So anyway, uh, he told me the other day that our Mr. Coffee Maker was starting to he felt like it was going to go kaput on us and so uh he goes if you want to go ahead and get a keurig go ahead that'll be your christmas present but the only keurig i saw that really got my goat was the compact one but i did some research on walmart.com to find some really cheaper alternatives and to find out what the reviews were on them mm. And so, I came across this one, um, and we, well, I bought it yesterday. And it's the Mainstays uh, Single Serve Coffee Maker. It works with ground coffee in K-Cups. It's got a removable drip tray for standard cups or travel mugs. It's got an auto shut off after brew cycle completes. It's compact, space-saving design. So, I picked this up. This was like $20.00. We tried it, and Carrie, believe it or not, who's old school Mr. I've Gotta Have the Original Coffee Pot, loves this. He was like, wow. And I'll tell you one of the reasons why. Now, this did come with your, um, your ground coffee filter and a cake cup capsule holder, which I thought I was going to have to buy this thing separately, but when I saw that it came with it, I thought, okay, done. The only... The only other thing I need to get for it is something to store our K-Cups. I bought a little container that is over there on the microwave, but I'm going to take it back to Walmart and just return it. They've got a little turnabout thing, and I told them how much it was, and he goes, okay, we'll see if you can find something else cheaper. So if you guys have any cheaper alternatives to store K-Cups, uh, let me know. I had bought, the, the container I bought was a Sterlite container, and so I decided to, uh, but it didn't fit all the K-Cups. Now, one of the reasons why he is absolutely hooked on this now, like I figured he would, is, okay, we did use, this morning he got up and he used our ground coffee that we always buy. Wow. He said it made it stronger, and I had a cup, and I noticed it was more stout and more stronger to where I may only need one cup of coffee instead of two. And I don't have the other box, but I got two of the Great Value uh, brand that, this is the caramel cream and when you smell this brewing which is what i'm drinking right now you can smell the caramel and it is stout let me tell you that's what he loved about it he was like okay and i looked at him i said so are you glad i wanted to get this and he was like yeah i'm sorry we waited so long because he didn't think it was gonna make a good cup of coffee and the fact that it was so hot the fact that i love about this is that I no longer have to heat the other one, wait 20 minutes for my cup of coffee while I'm taking the dog downstairs or nuke it in the microwave. I just pop one of these in there or put the ground coffee in there and it's done. So, yay. And these, um, for about 12 of these, and they're a lot bigger. I always thought they were like the little coffee creamer size, but they're bigger than I thought. You get 12 of them for $4.12 and they got a lot of great flavors. So, but a friend of mine had, um, said that there was another store that sells them around about about 25 cents a piece but for 47 cents or 34 cents a piece really in too bad y'all i'm so i'm kicking myself while we waited so long but um i'm gonna see how this goes uh it was either this or the the one i wanted the carry compact that was on sale for like 50 bucks but this is a good little starter kit so if you're thinking about getting one and you don't want to commit to carry just yet 
go ahead and grab this. I mean, for 20 bucks, that's really not bad. And it didn't take up a lot of space. I showed a coworker of mine this uh, when I was, uh, I took a, I think I sent her a picture of it. And she's like, uh, how much was that? <laughs> okay, so that's what I got there to go along with that. I also picked up a few other odds and ends. I'm still not finished shopping. Me and Carrie are going to go Christmas shopping next week. And I'm not going to be able to show you that haul because um, some of my family members watch my channel. So, <laughs> sorry. I grabbed two of these. I already opened one of these. I've been dying for these ever since I saw someone buying them. And, um, oh my goodness. Hold on. Let me. Hold on a second. You guys can stare at the ceiling for just a second. Oop. Oh, goodness. Sorry about that, guys. I had the window open because I was uh, burning up. And that cold wind was blowing. Okay. This is a Hershey's Mint, the chocolate mint candy canes. I've got in our coffee area some uh, coffee cups or Christmassy ones now. And I put the standard co uh, candy canes in there. I think I had shared that with you guys last time. But uh, these are like $2 a piece. And I bought two of them. And I'm going to eat one. Uh, take one with me to work. Oh, these are going to be awesome to put in the coffee cup. Also, I forgot to share something with you. Scooby, go lay down. Go lay down. He's a scene if anybody walks by the window. Uh, I got some more. Uh, the Walmart carries this peppermint uh, hot cocoa that I got for Carrie. Well, they got the s'mores one and I grabbed it. I went, yes, please. That's mine. But anyway, I like to put these in my coffee cup. I put one of the regular ones in there and it melted right in there. It was awesome. So that's a cute little idea if you're wanting to set up your little coffee area. Um... I'm in the process. I told my husband that I'm thinking about making a little coffee area over here like I want to, like a bigger one uh, over in the dining area. But I don't know. I'm going to probably wait till after Christmas to, uh, because we're going to have so many people over here. So I'll let you guys know um, about that. So I got that. Now I grabbed one of these and I meant to grab more, but these are on sale for 55 cents. Oh. Oh, hello. How are you doing? Uh, anyway. Um, and I got this one for me to drink. I've been drinking the crap out of the orange juice and ginger ale, which I did get some more. Um, I've been drinking a lot of water still, but I got this just to, you know, have extra. But I think we're going to do is we may t buy some of these and put candy in them and some other goodies for our uh, family members and stuff. Because, I mean, they're cheap. So, but I got this for me to drink on. Ask Carrie if he wanted one. He didn't want one. Okay. Now... I got this one for the cat litter box area. Oh dear, I hope this works. Um, oh, there goes my neighbor. I need to talk to her. Never mind. Um, <laughs> uh, the Airwick. I had a coupon for $1.25 off of these. And I don't think I liked these before, but I'm going to give this one a whirl. Um, this is in sugar cookie. So I grabbed a couple. I got the two pack. I'm going to put this over there. My cat, for some reason, he will... If his sister didn't cover up, he'll go in there and, like, cover it up for her. But if I put some of these little girly things over there, he'll look at me like I'm stupid. So, I got that. Uh, I think they were, like, I'm going to say $5. I noticed that uh, Walmart started carrying their own brand at a cheaper price. And they were, like, almost wiped out. But they didn't have this one. So, but that was pretty good. Uh, let's see what else they got. Oh, I had a coupon for this. I started couponing a little bit. I got the CoverGirl Clean Matte. I don't know if this is new or I just never noticed it. I could have got the BB cream, my favorite baby, baby BB cream, but I wanted to try something a little differently. Yeah, thank you. I don't, I'm not really a fan of it. I think it just, it looks horrid. It, my hair, I did a live video and I took it down. I was just, I'm still, I wish I would have had somebody do my hair, but yeah, I'm not digging this at all. <laughs> So, I don't know what to do if I should add another box or what. Uh, one of my relatives said the brand I used was not a good brand. I'm like, okay, maybe I should have got the L'Oreal. My husband said I'm going to dye my hair in a couple of weeks and use that. Go ahead and spend the 10 bucks. Go ahead and spend it. But, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I kind of, I, uh, I feel ugly right now with this hair. Um, and I did go make sure that the ends were saturated, and I don't know what the deal is. You know, I did I did it like I normally do. You guys know when I dye my dark hair. I don't know. I was really disappointed. Okay, let's move on from the hair. But uh, I got that uh, foundation. Um, I'm pretty sure I tried this. Or, 
I know I tried the powder and I for sure love the BB cream, but I got this. I had a, this was like $5.94. I got $2 off of it. I got it in the shade 510 Classic Ivory. So I'm probably going to go ahead and wear this today because I'm pretty sure we're going to be busy as hell. Okay, and I thought I had a coupon for this and I'm pretty sure I do. But we are on the way home. Oh, y'all have to go to, if you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, go to Joe Willie's in Rockwall. They got the best freaking hamburgers ever. We went there. We traveled from where we lived just to go over there because my husband was wanting to try something different. And for $26, we got like a big, I got a big freaking hamburger. Almost, well, I said it's big, but he said it was normal. And then a Philly cheesesteak sandwich and, um... You can like you can do a combo side like uh, like you can get a basket with onion rings and French fries and then split it with someone and got our drinks and then they have a bar area where you put your own toppings on it which I like and they cooked my hamburger really perfect so like I said if you're in the Dallas Fort Worth area and you're looking for a good hamburger place go to Joe Willie's I don't know if they have another location I thought they had a Dallas location but they closed it. Go check that out. It was the bomb. And it's really hard. If I really like a hamburger, I will finish it. And I did finish that one. Carrie was almost licking his plate on his Philly cheesesteak sandwich. He said it was just like being up there in Philly for real. Okay, let me get off. off get back on topic. topic. Um, I was going to get the mattifying, the Garnier Skin After Miracular Cleansing Water. I was going to get the mattifying one, but then I noticed it wasn't more waterproof mascara. So I grabbed this, and it came with the free little... Maybelline mascara. It's a great lash. I'm not really a fan of this, but I may um I may go ahead and pop that open. This is like seven dollars. I figured that bottle will last me a while, but I'm really irritated I didn't have the coupon. I told my husband I was really sure I had it. And the reason why I told you guys about the burger is because we were coming back from there and I needed to get this because I'm probably gonna wear makeup today. And he said, well, go ahead, I want to go smoke a cigarette. He went, I'm trying to break him of not smoking in the car. Okay, I also got some sticker books for my um, Bible journaling and faith planning, and they're, I guess I don't, oh, I don't have the, the cover for it, but Walmart started carrying uh, their own planner line, that kind of thing, and these are like $2.48 a piece, so this is one of the ones I got, I got both the faith ones, and it's got these in here. Got these. I wish I had the packaging to show you on one of them, but and I thought that was pretty good. And I'm gonna split this with a friend of mine that I'm gonna swap. So I'm gonna just give her half the package. I think this comes with doubles. I don't use the alphabets. I know a lot of people use the alphabets. I'm just not an alphabet girl. I just I have never been able to use them. Ooh, look at those fish. Okay, so I got that one and, and I got this other one too. They got a lot of really cool Bible journaling planner stuff over there. And for $2.48, that was awesome. And I was going to take back the next item I'm going to share with you that I got from Hobby Lobby. But my husband was like, no, go ahead and keep it because you know you want that sticker book. So, if you guys want to see a better flip through of these, just let me know. Okay, that's all I got at Walmart. But the coffee maker, y'all, is awesome. Okay, now I had Carrie take back... The original one. I got a really cool planner tote that looked like a Bible carrier. But I couldn't get it to work for what I wanted to do. And I got my Bible journaling stuff over here. And I'm trying to get, um, I'm starting to get back into Bible journaling. So he was nice enough to go back over there after I called. And see if they if they had it. And they had. Because when I was over there they only had one left. And they had it. And they put it on hold. And Carrie went up there and exchanged it for me. I got the storage planner tote. But I'm going to use it for Bible journaling. And it looks like this on the front. And these right now, y'all, are 50% off. So, this is originally $24.99. So, you know, do the math on that. And I thought, and I, I don't know why I didn't grab this. Because the, the other thing I had grabbed, it had the zipper pouches in there. So, I know, it's, it's cool in it. So, <clears throat> what I, I'm, right now what I'm doing is I've got, I'm mainly Bible journaling in the bedroom. And I'm going to put a planner desk in here. But I've got my pencils and so forth in here. I don't know if I'm going to keep them in here or if I'm going to put them in the pocket. And I got these doodads I got from my friend that I told you I'm swapping with. I got the pens I'm using, pencils in here, watercolors, that kind of thing. So if you guys want me to do a video on how I'm setting this up, let me know. I'm going to play with it. Um, I've got like maybe another hour or so before I have to start getting ready for it. So I got that from Hobby Lobby. 
And this is what I was telling you about that I got. I'm trying to start buying more of these, but I don't know. I just, I feel like I can't justify it. And my husband's like, okay, if you got a coupon, why not? You know, because I love these things. I finally got a happy plant, the, the Mambi mini sticker books. I don't know if you guys know that they came out with the mini sticker books. This is uh, just the planner basics. And this is originally $19.99. Of course, I used my Hobby Lobby coupon. Um, I didn't feel like going all the way out to Michael's. I've been going to Michael's a lot. So, and there was something else I got from Michael's or Walmart. I got an adhesive refill, but I got the wrong one. So, I'm going to go take it back and exchange it and tell him, okay, can you please help me with this? Uh, but this is for the mini, and I'm liking this. I don't need this for the new one I got, but I figured I can use it somewhere else. Okay, you get two of those, or three. Okay, let me flip. You get several of those. <laughs> but I mainly got it for the rest of this stuff in here. You know, for your everyday stuff, like the laundry, which I need to go do today, but now I'm not going to have time. So, I don't know, maybe get a couple of loads started. So, yeah, definitely check this out. Um, my husband asked me if there was another sticker book I wanted, and they got the Faith sticker book, but it's in a mini form. Um... But I, I just want to slowly, I want to make sure before I buy one of these, I make sure I can use most of the stickers in there. So half, half in it. But yeah, I, th I got that. I thought that was pretty cool. So anyway, oh, let me get the Dollar Tree haul before I, I totally forget. Y'all, like I said, this coffee is stout. Do you have to work Christmas Eve? No, I got it off. I'm so excited. Carrie's got to work Christmas Eve. <laughs> Do you got to work Christmas Eve? Oh. Oh, my husband's got to work Christmas Eve, and I'm sorry that tickles me because he got Thanksgiving off. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm stoked. I don't know when the last time I had a Christmas Eve off. I'm going. Dang, I, and my husband thought it was probably back. I really cannot remember. I think I've worked every single Christmas Eve since I've been back in retail, like 11, one of my 12th year being back in retail. Because after my divorce, I went back to I went back to working on for Bass Pro in 2005, and I don't remember not working Christmas Eve. All right, let me get the Dollar Tree haul, and then I'll, I have to go. <laughs> I'm stuck babbling, y'all. That coffee's kicking in. Not, I'm gonna get on everybody's nerves today. And let me tell you, I don't like working until 11 o'clock because of my anxiety. But when the manager said, "Can you work say to 11?" I said, "You know, on the messenger, I go no, sarcastically. An extra 30 minutes is gonna kill me. Oh no." But then I was like, well, why not I go in at 2? And that's when I called him and said, do you want me to go ahead and come in at 2? Carrie's off today. He goes, yes, that will work. Because apparently we're busy today. Okay, let me quit cycle by one. Now, let me know if you tried this. I got this at Dollar Tree. It's a hot cocoa. And again, let me know where the best place to get K-Cups at. Because I'm not going to lie, I'm going to start sucking up. Because this is the bomb. <laughs> I don't know why. But yeah, I thought for the, I was going to get two of these. But I thought I'd grab one. I grabbed my eye drops. I already popped open one. I grabbed two melatonin uh, pills. If you're having trouble sleeping, y'all, I highly recommend these. I mean, I take these when I start getting sleep. I'm getting a little tired, but even if I'm not tired, I'll go ahead and pop one of these. Um, and these have just been helping, and it's got B vitamin six, which I don't know what it does. But I'm so thankful that I uh, I have these. I don't really need these right now, but I started looking. I've already opened up my other bottle and the whole reason why I had to go buy there last night was get Oreo cookie his uh, doggy bags which we already got one and I bought two of these for the table and I may have to go back and get one and I got one thinking okay my cat's gonna tear that up if I put it on there I got two of these because apparently in my apartment the theme is Santa Claus so and for and we tried to make sure our cats are off the table but for some reason, they like to climb on the table. So, I got another one just in case they tear it up. I want to get more of a vinyl one at Walmart. But I figured this will just take care of it. Because, I mean, I can't really buy anything else. Uh, and I'm not buying anything else for myself. I told Carrie that this the planner stuff I got for myself, that could be my Christmas present. I'm getting him a rod and reel combo that he has to go pick out because I have no clue what it is. So, but yeah. But let me know if y'all want to see a video on me. Uh, I may go ahead and record that video after I get done here and set this up or just share with you how I get it set up. Um, I got to look at the time though because I do have to get ready. 
And I'm telling you that coffee's kicking out. I know I keep talking about them, but the coffee, but I've waited so long to get one of these coffee makers. Do you still do your makeup? Uh, no. I haven't, I stopped doing it because, uh, I got kind of bored with it and I've gotten some new products, but I can start doing it if enough people ask me to start doing it. I guess I can do that starting in January, you know, seeing what's going on. But, uh, yeah, the only th other thing, oh, okay, well, thank you, I appreciate it. The only, th the only other thing, don't, don't. But I cannot talk. The only other thing I want for Christmas, uh, and I think he's going to try to get it for me, is the Urban Decay. Uh, the heck is it? The heat palette. I've been dying for that one. Because he just asked me, like, this morning, do you still want that palette? I said, yeah, but I already got this other stuff. But I'm trying to make sure everybody else is getting taken care of. I'm not worried about myself. I'm like, look, I'll get that whenever, you know. But I like to talk shop with my customers because they're asking what kind of makeup I have on. Like the other day, I wore those uh, LA Colors matte shadows, and I got a lot of compliments. I did what was called, in my opinion, a simple look, but it was a little bit of a dramatic look. And everybody asked me what I was wearing. I said Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree makeup or Dollar General makeup. So anyway, um, me and Oreo Cookie and get off here. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Oh, did I sh did I sh tell you guys we got a new TV in the little table? It's all. Okay, I'm going to get off here. Y'all have a great day. Give this a thumbs up if you will, guys. I'm trying to be more regular on the videos. Uh, our phone company now has made it to where when you buy this certain card that it's unlimited data. So I might be able to get more videos up. I don't know. Okay, thank you, hun, for joining me. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Okay, and Merry Christmas.